Are you ready to draw a fire engine? We're going step by step to make it easy to draw this beautiful fire engine. Let's grab your papers and colors and let's get started. First we start with the red rank to over the back equipment compartment. That's where they keep nozzles and fire extinguishers on a real pumper. Next is another rectangle, but leave space in between them. And this rectangle is not as quite as wide as the first one. Now we add a line across the top to connect the two rectangles. And then draw a curved line to connect the two rectangles at the bottom. Do you see where the back tire will go? Now grab your black crayon or marker and let's draw a smaller rectangle that's just in front of our right compartments. This is the start of the pump panel. Now go back to red and we're going to get a little trickier. This is like a rectangle that's laying down in front of the pump panel, but we don't finish the line on the bottom. In the next step, you'll see why. Now between the lines we didn't connect, draw a curved line that matches the one for the back tire. Do you see what this is going to be? Yes, where the front tire will go. Now draw straight up, then turn left when you're a little higher than the back compartments. Then turn back down where you're halfway over the front wheel well. You're starting to draw the back cab of where the firefighters will ride. And finish the cab outline, draw straight forward, then angle down to completely connect with our earlier drawing. Can you start to see what the shape of the fire engine is? Now a truck can't go anywhere without its tires, so grab your black color and draw a circle for the front tire. Then another circle for the back tire. Then back to the front tire, let's draw a smaller circle inside the bigger circle. Then do the same small circle on the back tire. Now return to red and let's draw a small square with rounded off corners for the window in the back of the cab. And then a smaller square for the window in the center of the cab. Give your corners a little rounding to make it look more like a real fire truck. For the driver's window, start with the straight bottom line and go straight up, but at the top, do a curved corner and draw across. Then it's an angled line down to the bottom to finish out the window. Take a minute and look at your outline of the side of the fire engine. How does it look? Now it's going to get a little trickier as we add some perspective so it looks more like a real fire truck. First we start with an angled rectangle that becomes the roof of the tall section of the cab. Now add a line down in the back for the front of the section of the cab of the roof. Next two lines finish out the roof. The important part is to make all your lines go at the same angle to make it look like a real roof. Now create the windshield, draw an angled line down that matches the angled line on this side of the truck. Then draw a line across that connects halfway up the cab. Under the windshield, draw a line down and over that will become the front grille of the truck. And now you need to switch to gray because the bumper is made out of chrome. Draw a line out and around connecting the driver's side for the top of the bumper. Now draw a little circle under that last line and connect it around to the truck to form this side of the bumper. Then finish out the bumper by drawing a line from the other side of the circle on over to the other side and end with a short vertical line up to connect that with the top of the bumper. Moving back to the pump panel, we're going to draw the chrome wall that connects the red compartments with the black pump panel. The next line adds depth to the storage compartments. Be sure to connect it all together with a little line to connect the red compartments. Now connect the front of the compartments over to the back of the cab and complete the top of the water tank. Above the black pump panel, let's divide the square and add a new bottom line to add depth to the panel. This will become a storage space for the fire hose. Now we're going to add the other side of the back of the truck. Draw a long skinny rectangle to form the top of the wall. A quick line straight down will connect it and we'll have a finished skeleton of our fire engine. Good job! Now it's really time to finish it off to make it look like an active pumper. First draw a skinny rectangle through the middle of the storage compartments, then color it in with yellow. Remember, if you ever need more time on any step, you can hit pause on your disc player. 
Then continue when you're ready. Now let's start coloring in the fire agent. You can use one color red, but if you want more depth and realism, try using two shades of red for a gradient effect. Continue on with the coloring in the middle panel. And then the last panel. It's really starting to look like a real fire truck. Now let's move on to the tires. Use a combination of black and gray to fill in the outside ring of the back tire. Then do the same on the front tire. Now let's add the lug nuts to hold the tires on. Let's take a white or light gray color and add the dots around the rim. Of course you can use whatever color choices you want to totally customize your drawing. Grab the yellow because what's a fire engine without the hose in the hose bed? Color in the hose area and add some darker lines to make it look like stacks of fire hose. Next take your grays and finish coloring in the chrome metal walls of the back of the hose area. Be sure to do that with the top of both sides of the storage compartment. Give your hand a break for a minute and just look at what great job you're doing. You are quite an artist. Pump handle is next. There's a bunch of levers and dials and switches on a real one. So take your gray and your red colors to create rows of dials and switches. Then toward the bottom, draw some bigger connections where the fire hose hook up. Carefully take black and color in the background around all the items on your pump panel. Under the pump panel, we need to add the step where fire fire can stand. Take gray and draw in the step. Then finish it off with the chrome look by shading it in with your colors of gray. While you're making things look like chrome, let's shade in the right side of the two boxes above the pump panel. And for the left side, get your yellows back out to create a stack of fire hose. Leave just a little space between your hose and the top of the box. Let's fill in that space with black. And to finish off that area, make the top of that box look like chrome metal with a combination of gray shades. Take a lighter shade of gray and add texture to that area by making a bunch of little short lines to make it look like metal used on real fire engines. Now let's finish off behind the back tire by shading that dark color. And then behind the front tire as well. Now get your red back out and draw a small rectangle in front of the front tire. And we'll do the same behind the front tire. And now two lines going up from the tire area. Now in the back box we just created Draw two lines to divide up that area. And then in the front box, draw a circle, which will become the area for the truck number. If you want to get fancy, that's where the fire department logo for your town usually goes. Now add lines on both sides of their circle to match the lines you drew on the back half of the cab. And now we get to color in the cab area. Get your reds out and begin with the two back areas, leaving the stripe clear through the middle. Then go ahead and do the same with the front part of the cab, leaving the circle and the stripe clear. The stripe can be completed with yellow to match our stripe on the back of the fire engine. Finish your circle as you wish. I've colored it in with yellow and put the engine number. To complete the middle piece, get your gray back out and shade it to make it look like metal. Then add some black and white lines across it. Now let's finish the running board where firefighters step to climb aboard. By now you're an expert at chrome metal, so shade the part behind the front wheel. Followed by the area in front of the front wheel. Then move on around the truck and shade the front edge of the bumper. 
Now let's add some shading to the circle in the front bumper. That's where the air horn rings out. And while we're here, let's shade the top of the bumper, giving it a textured metal look as well. For the front grille of the engine, shade the middle part in, leaving the two side areas blank for now. We need to add the headlights, so get out your red color and draw two circles for the headlights. Now you can finish them by shading the headlights with a blue tint. And now that the headlights are in place, let's finish out the front by coloring red around them on both sides. Of course this truck needs a windshield, so grab your black marker and draw two lines across the front opening. Then add a vertical line up the center between the two black lines. Grab your blue again and add some color to the windshield. And we need windshield wipers for those rainy days, so grab your black and draw two lines for wipers. Now back to blue. We're going to color in the driver's side window. Then keep moving back and shade the small middle window. Followed by the rear passenger compartment window. Now you need to use black and gray with a good point to add the rear view mirror for the driver right at the front of his window. And you can't have a fire engine without flashing red lights on top, so grab that red marker and draw a couple of lights on the roof. Now shade between your two ends to have a modern emergency services light bar across the top. Fire equipment also has lights on the rear that flash to warn people, so add a couple of red lights right on top of each of the back corners. And for your final touch, draw the truck number on the top of the cab, just like you'll find on fire engines in big cities today. And there you've done it. Great job. You drew a fire engine and it's ready to respond to the next emergency call. Take your drawing and show all your friends and family because you drew it yourself.